The career of Rafael Ruiz began 11 years ago, right here. This is where you got your first glimpse of the hero that you all know so well today. 11 seasons, seven different clubs, and countless goals and trophies. But today is the day where that all comes to an end. The day to put one more trophy in the cabinet. And as we reminisce back on these old days, the first episode, who would have guessed we'd come this far, creating one of the best players that's ever lived. The storylines we've gone through, the drama, the controversy, it all ends right here today. This is the final episode of Rafael Ruiz. This final game is no ordinary game. Unlike any game I've ever played, a match against Barcelona, my former team, and a team that includes my brother and the player that got me into football, Joao Felix. One of my best friends for my entire life, and we're both ending our career on the same pitch where only one club can be a winner. People are calling me the GOAT, better than Ronaldo, Messi, Pele, Maradona, all the greats to ever play, and they're calling me the best. So if I am really the best, there's only one way to end it, and it's to end it in style. One night before the match, and I'm spending it with the people that I love the most. My family, my wife, and my child. Soon, this will be my life. After I end my career, this is it. Spending time with them, focusing on my son's football career, and then deciding whether or not we want to take the route of becoming a manager. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered, but before any of those can be answered, we gotta play this match. The final time I ever walk into a football stadium as a player. The last game I'll ever play. The Champions League Final. Rafael Ruiz, his final appearance. And I couldn't be more nervous. What if I choke? What if I mess it up for Leeds United, a team that I set out to rebuild as my career is coming to a close? We've won them the Prem, but now it's time to lead them to Champions League glory. The last thing left to do in my career, take a team from the very bottom to the top. And that is the aim today. So let's do it. Into the dressing room we go, ready to take on Barcelona. Felix, my brother, my former team. And speaking of, there they are. My two, well, should I say it? Best friends in life at this moment. My brother, my best friend, and it's time to face them 2v1. Realistically, 11v11, but the spotlight is on us three. And not only us three, as we chat a little bit before the game, but two other faces. As you all know, Thiago Messi, Lionel Messi's son, has joined Barcelona. And of course, on Leeds United, is the son of Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo Jr. Quite possibly, one of the biggest matchups in football history with the players in this match. So here we go, into the final, where there can only be one winner.
I've worked so hard to get to this point my entire career. It's all amounted to one final game. It's felt like it's passed in the blink of an eye. And just like that, we've gone from starting at Befica in my home country of Portugal to ending here in England with Leeds United. Who would have guessed at the beginning of my career that we would accomplish this? In one final game to prove our dominance, improve our place as the best footballer of all time. Let's do it. Kickoff time. It is a time to get in to the final game. Barcelona leads United. And we're already off to quite possibly the worst start that could have been. Zambele in. 1-0 Barcelona. Our defense chokes under pressure. Hadn't even got a touch of the ball up to this point. And Leeds United are playing from behind yet again. It's something that after all the games I've played in my career, I'm very familiar with. So... There, there will be chances. There will be time to get this game back under control. But as for our keeper Henderson, a save that needs to be made, especially in a game like this, as my career comes to an end, no more mistakes. Ronaldo, our manager, is not happy on the sideline. But he'll be happy with this. Until you break down. the Canadian the left back Alfonso Davies man what a goal what a time to score on this stage the Champions League final this is just a thing of beauty Alfonso Davies I mean what a goal off the post back the net that's just incredible that's all you can say incredible goal in such a huge moment 1-1 I mean if we get this action all game it's gonna end 5-5 in this Champions League final holy crap Barcelona and my bro well, not exactly my bro, my best pal, Felix with the shots. If you guys are unaware and want to see my actual brother on the pitch for Barcelona, he goes by the name of Tomas. If you can't quite remember, you'll see him out there. This shot from Ruiz, what a chance it was. Imagine this one would have gone in. Oh my God. Wow. We would have been talking one of the best Champions League final goals of all time. Unfortunately, it didn't. And unfortunately, yet another mistake. Henderson. Out of all the players that I would have guessed to mess up this big on this big of stage, I would have not have guessed Henderson. A keeper for us who has been solid all year. No complaints. But this one, all you can do is shake your head. He punches it straight into Felix, who finds the back of the net. We fall to one, and it's time to play comeback yet again. What more do I need to do? I think it's time for myself to find the back of the net. And it's time to do that from quite possibly what could be if scored. The best free kick of all time. Right, no, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That would have been one of the best free kicks of all time from that distance. No way I'm putting that in. I'm sorry, it just wasn't going to happen. Um, yeah, too hard of an angle. But you know what we will do? I think we'll put this one in right here. There it is. It's 2-2 two -two right now. What a first half this has been. I mean, could we ask for more action? I mean, we could have, but I, I, honestly, I think that would have been illegal. With what has been going on, four goals in the first half of a Champions League final. I mean, it has to be one of the highest scoring finals ever at this point, 45 minutes in. Ruiz, the cutback, the finesse shots. The five-star weak foot is what we've been doing our whole career. You shouldn't expect anything less. Goals like this, the quick turn, the composure, the finishing. It's all at 99 at this point. It is actually all at 99. First half, 2-2 two -two is anyone's game. Barcelona leads United. Is Felix against who else but Ruiz? And then, of course, Ronaldo, Messi. This has it all. This could be one of the biggest finals ever and so far it has not disappointed 2-2 two -two.
It's time to accelerate. Second half, 2-2. Can we get this lead for the first time in the game? Ruiz with a finesse shot. That would have been incredible. And that could quite possibly have been a game winner. I'm trying to do my best right now. We got one goal so far. Can we continue that? Add two. Maybe a hat trick in the final would be the dream. Sancho in to Ronaldo Jr. who takes the shot. And it's saved by the Barcelona keeper. Who in this second half so far has been the man of the match. Wow. What a save right there near post. How in the world is he getting his fingers around that? Another opportunity. Ruiz in the middle. Passing it off. And it's, it's Davies who can't quite get his second goal. What a player he's been for us so far. 76 minute. Ruiz. Cut back, pass inside, and is this the goal? Is this the goal that just won us the Champions League final in the final game of my career? 2-3, Barcelona fall behind. First time in the game, it's an assist from Ruiz, but we have to stay calm because there's so much time left in this game for Barcelona to score. But if we can just get one more, I think this game is gonna be all but over. Who else? to win the game and put this thing away. United has won the Champions League final. Rafael Ruiz is the winner. And that is the end of the career of one of the greatest players to ever play the game of football. The Portuguese legend, Rafael Ruiz. 11 seasons, numerous trophies, teams, goals, and it ends right here. What a career, and one of the best to ever do it. Ruiz take a bow for one final time. Raise that trophy. Congratulations to the best footballer of all time. I don't want to do it. I've been at the stadium for four or five hours since the game came to a close. I can't leave. I can't find myself to do it, but I must. Leave the game that I love so much behind. It's time to do just that. What a career it was and what a way to end it. And two familiar faces waiting for me on the other side of those doors. Two players that helped me massively in this career mode. They go by the name of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. At the start of my career, they were foes. They were enemies. But as soon as they retired, they helped me become the player I became today. Both were my agents at one point. 
Cristiano Ronaldo eventually became my manager, and along the way, they both became great friends. Players that I'll never forget. And there we stand. Three of the best footballers of all time. Can't think of a better way to end my career. The people that I've met on this journey, and maybe no one more important than my family, and my wife and my son. And as I got home later that night, they were the two people that I was most looking forward to seeing. And I had a big announcement for them in terms of my career after football. I'm done as a player. I'm retired. But the option was there to become a manager, own a team. So many options within the game. And I wanted my wife to be the first to know what I'd be doing. I got home, gave her a hug, and I laid it out on the table. As much as I want to continue being a part of the game of football, the game that I love, I think before managerial role is an option, I need to be a father. I want to be there for my son, go to his matches, and be someone who can always be there for him. Something I was unable to do as a professional football player, traveling so much. And this is my opportunity to be a dad. And maybe get back to that manager role one day. Until then, the career was fun. I can't complain, but I also can't believe that it's over just like that. I got to thank everyone who was on the road and watched the episodes and was there to support Ruiz in every single moment. But that's it. That's the career of Rafael Ruiz. And there I was, waking up in a dead sweat, alarm clock going off, in an unfamiliar place waking up. The night before, I just won the Champions League final, right? That's, that's right. What, what's going on? This is not, this is my old house. Where are my parents? My hair is, is back to brown. No, 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 no. The year on the, the computer is it, wrong. This isn't right. This isn't right. Was was it all a dream? No. It was all a dream. Everything. My entire career. My friends. My, my family. We're back to day one. It was all a dream. It was all a dream. It was all a, a dream. Boys, there it is. The ending. Rafael Ruiz. Wow. What do you guys think? Honestly, comment section. Holy crap. It was all for nothing, wasn't it now? Ruiz. Man, I know some people probably won't be too happy with that ending. Um, for me, myself, it was one that I saw coming for a while. I left some hints throughout the series that that may have been coming. Did you pick up on it? Did you not? Probably not. They were really hard to pick up on. I didn't see any speculation in the comments. Maybe like one or two throughout the series. But I always kind of left that hint in there that that could have been the case. It was all a dream, boys. Ruiz, the career never happened and we start from the very minute that we began the series. Now, where do we go from here? That's the question. First off, before I even talk about that, thank you guys for the support on this series. Whether it was a dream or not, well, it was. But even given that, we still went through an entire career of a player, Rafael Ruiz. This was my most successful my player, and I can't thank you guys enough. Better than the Barkley series, the Roberto series, everything we've done this by far had the most views, the most likes, the most comments. Guys, I can't thank you enough, and I hope for FIFA 21 it's bigger and better. And for FIFA 20, we're going to be doing another My Player, which is why I ended this one so early. Again, though, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so freaking much. Now, what are we doing in the future? First off, there could still be another story with Ruiz, as his career was all just a dream. 
there's a chance that we could go through his career again. Am I going to do that? Probably not, but it is something that could be there for the future, whether it be some sort of mini-series or I don't know. But just keep in mind that there could be Ruiz in the future. Now, as for his son and everything else that we went through, probably won't happen. And him having his career be a dream, it makes sense. A lot of the crazy stuff that happened in this series as to why it was a dream. But yes, the next mod player is up to you guys. I probably won't be starting it for another week or so. I got to get time to think of what I actually want to do. Look at your guys' comments on kind of where you want the player to be from, his background, his story. So comment section, excuse me, sorry for hitting that mic. Um, yeah, just, just let me know what you guys want to see next. My thinking is it's going to be a goalkeeper. We always seem to end FIFA with a keeper. So I think we're going to do that again, most likely. But if you guys want to see something different, we haven't done a defender. I just don't want to do a defender. I think it's going to be so freaking boring. So I probably won't do a defender. But hey, let me know what you guys want to see. And with that, I hate to say it, but this is it. The final episode of Ruiz. We started this series when FIFA began. Is that not crazy? This series started all the way back in September. And it is ending right here on the date of July 14th. That's it. Wow. It's sad, man. It's really sad. I put so much effort in this series. You guys watched the hell out of it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And I hope the next series is going to be even better. That's my goal to continue to top the previous series one after another. But then again, thank you boys so much. And with that, I'll say goodbye to Ruiz in style. That's it. Peace, boys.